Today, I'm gonna to be buying YouTube subscribers to see if you can actually start a brand new channel in 2021 without starting from zero. So I know a lot of people are really frustrated when they first start YouTube and they wanna know, is there an easier way to get more subscribers and more views on my videos? Can I go out and do sub for sub or maybe buy some subscribers? Well, at the end of this video, you're gonna have your answer whether you should be buying YouTube subscribers or not. So let's get into it. I do wanna let everybody know though that the goal of this video is to show you why you shouldn't do this rather than why you should do it because I personally think that growing organically is a better idea than going and trying to buy any subscribers or do anything scammy like that. Okay, starting off my brand new channel, I made this entirely new channel all about Instagram. And of course you can see, I actually put a little bit of effort into this. I have a new channel icon that's just an Instagram logo. Just because I didn't want to put my face out there that's already on my main channel, I was like, all right, I want to make sure that this doesn't have my name on it, this doesn't have my face in the icon, if my face is in the channel banner like before, I think that's okay. And you can see I already have two subscribers on the channel, so I don't have many subscribers, I'm starting out literally from scratch, and I already posted one video that has eight views. However, I do have two other videos that I've already made and are ready to go on this channel just to see if I buy these subscribers and they come to my channel, do I get views off of those subscribers or are they just completely useless subscribers? So the first place that I checked out was Fiverr and I did already find a seller on here. This is something that I would trust more with my credit card even though I really don't want to put my credit card on here. I might go through PayPal to do this. So with this person they're saying I will increase your YouTube subscribers by real audience. Wow, that really makes me feel great about this already. And you know, I really just think that this is just a total banger when it comes to this photo right here to show me their business. YouTube subscribers, subscribe real. Oh wow, I feel so safe now. They're saying that their basic plan is to get 100 plus subscribers within two days. So I think that's pretty good, but then if we look at their standard, standard is 30 bucks and you get 300 plus subscribers and then the premium's $50 and that's 500 plus subscribers and that's four days. The reason I think that takes them so many more days to do this is because they have to spread it out so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't look at it as one lump sum of all these subscribers coming onto the channel because instantly I'm pretty sure my channel would be banned if that happened. So doing it this way I think is a lot safer. However, I wouldn't be surprised if my channel got banned at the end of this video. I'm honestly planning on it. I think this is probably the one I'm gonna go with even though it's it's a little dicey. Okay, 10 bucks, that's not that big of a deal. I'll do 100 plus subscribers within the next two days and let's see if it works out. I am honestly a little nervous about this because I've never done this before. The seller needs to know the following information to start working on your order. Requirement, contact now. Contact information, what does that mean? I don't know, am I dumb? Send me your channel URL, that makes sense. Boom, there we go, okay. So order is now in progress, you can see that right here. Now the what I don't wanna do is just rely on one source. Now I don't wanna give too much money to these people because I think this is really bad. However, I kinda wanna do it with a couple different sources because I have a feeling that this one isn't, just in case this one isn't accurate, I wanna make sure that I can get some subscribers onto the channel. So. I will most likely do one more, as long as it isn't junk. I will promote your YouTube channel subscribers and views. 10 bucks, this person has a 5.0 rating. Wow, they were just below, why didn't I do this one? <laughs> Audience size, 5,000. There's no way that this person's legit. The one, that's right, one order, there's no way. So they're telling me that they're gonna get five, it better be 5,000 views not 5,000 subscribers. Okay, this one's three day perfect promotion. Real growth, extra fast one day delivery. Ooh, yeah, do that, $25. That's a lot of money. That's okay though, I can do that. So in total, I'm gonna pay $28.25 plus the $12 and uh, 25 cents for the last ones. Let me get my calculator because I am horrible at math. So that means I've spent $40 so far. Let's see how this just pans out. I will be doing some vlog type videos with this just to show you over the next couple days when the subscribers start to come in and maybe even some views as well. And when I start to upload the other two videos onto this channel so we can see does this actually work or does it not work? 
So I'll see you then. All right, I do wanna let you guys know that I wasn't able to film the other couple days. The reason was because my audio was so low and the footage that I already filmed, so honestly, I was just being dumb. But this is after the three days, and now we're on to the fourth day of this. And you can see that my channel has now gotten over 200 subscribers, 201 that is. So it looks like both of the people that I hired for this, they both showed up and they were able to come through on the order. So I was able to get just a little over 200 subscribers. But not only this, but I was also able to get 383 views and 11.8 hours of watch time. So honestly, just for a couple days of a channel being live, this is pretty impressive. However, there's a huge catch to this and you're gonna see exactly what I mean. So if we go to the first video and we go to the analytics of it, you can see that it has 248 views, which is pretty good. You'd think, all right, that's pretty good for a video that just went up. Usually they get like five views within the first couple of days of being live on a brand new channel that had only two subscribers just a couple days ago. If you take a look at the analytics, this is extremely interesting. You can see that there was a little bit of views over time. However, you can see that most of the views came at one particular time. And then the same thing happened right here. And that tells me that these are 100% bots. They're not people. This is a completely fake and it's just a scam because yes, your numbers went up, but they all went up at one time, meaning there's one person controlling all of these different viewers and subscribers. And you can see within the last 48 hours, it only has two views. So all this just came at one time and it hasn't gone up since, mainly because YouTube is pushing this out because the audience retention and click-through rate are so low. Actually, the click-through rate's pretty high. That's just because there's only 15 impressions on it. So obviously there's not many people clicking on the video. These people went and seeked out the video on their own externally. One of the biggest traffic sources was direct or unknown. Obviously they're saying browse features, but I think that's because YouTube didn't pick up on a lot of the data or maybe they just didn't count it. But you can see that it has a 23 second average view duration, which means everybody that clicked on this video immediately clicked off within 23 seconds and this is a 12 minute video so YouTube looks at that and they're like we're not gonna promote this video this video is junk so obviously it's really bad for the first video then we head on to the second video we can go to the analytics of this one you can see this video got hundred and thirty four views which really stunned me I thought this video wasn't gonna get any views at all however it did get some views which is really surprising if we once again go into the analytics it only has nine impressions that it counted 22% click-through rate. Remember, nine impressions, so only nine people saw it. So of those nine people, 22% of them went and clicked on the video. But then it has 134 views, mainly because people went right onto the channel and they clicked on it, or these bots did. And you can see the exact same thing with the data. There's a couple views that stagger in, and then it just bumps up to 133, meaning one person's controlling all of these viewers, and it comes in at one point in time and they all have the same pattern which means that they're just completely fake and then the last video which is perfect evidence that this is the worst way to start off your YouTube channel yes your vanity metrics may be high you may see oh I got 200 subscribers well guess what 200 subscribers are people that do not care and they're not even real people they're complete fake bots so in a month YouTube is gonna go through this channel and they're gonna see that this channel has a bunch of bots and they're gonna completely get rid of all of them. So you'll be back to zero where you started. So as of November 30th, this video has one view. Of the 200 subscribers that I have on my channel, this video has one view and two impressions. And you can see it has a 0.0% .0 click-through rate. So this is exactly what I was talking about is when Finally, when you stop paying for these subscribers and you stop giving these people any money and it's past that three day mark, then you're coming into a time where now they're not going on and they're not getting all of those views and subscribers because now that one person, they're not obligated to go on your channel and keep viewing your videos. They don't want to do that at all. Instead, they're like, okay, now I'm done with this customer. Now let's move on to the next one. And unless you just care about vanity metrics or subscribers and views, and you don't care about actually creating a real community of people, then the only way that this is possible for you is if you just continuously pay money to these people on Fiverr and it's enough to sustain growth. However, if you ever wanna come out with a product or you ever wanna come out with a service, no one's ever gonna buy anything because it's only one person behind 
every single subscriber you have on your channel and then eventually YouTube's gonna find your channel once you get up to probably about a thousand subscribers and they're gonna delete your channel. So overall, this is the worst way to grow and honestly it was a complete waste of $40 but in a way it wasn't because now I'm showing a lot of you that may be thinking about doing this that this is the complete wrong way. It's a horrible idea and I really don't want to see any of you guys fall into this trap. However, if you do want to gain real subscribers, then definitely check out this playlist right here. So click on that and I'll see you guys over there. Bye-bye.